Hey. Hi, I'm Brett from Zeon. I'm here testing out one of the latest innovations from our company. It's this HDMI receiver and remote controller combo. As you can see, what I'm able to do is view the footage coming off of my camera, and then just through motion, I'm able to control the direction so you, that this camera is looking. Controlling at. this one. Yes. Yes. So I'm controlling that camera right there. So essentially, wherever I point this thing, that camera is going to point too. So let's come a little bit closer. So there's a transmitter, receiver. Yes, yeah, so it is a combo. So if you want, you can use the transmitter alone in order to actually view your footage. But if you want to use an external monitor, especially wirelessly, this is the new receiver that we have. It has up to 100 meters or 300 feet of range and will work with any HDMI monitor that you want. Is this final or it's not yet final? Is it going to be a smooth video? Oh yeah, the, so they are working on the smoothness of the video. It does work significantly better than on the show floor of CES. I hate to say it, there's like so a much million and one Wi-Fi devices and Bluetooth devices. It does cause interference, but under normal shooting conditions, um, the receiver itself is expected to work very smooth, just like the way the transmitter does already. So. Does that mean you get uh, the 1080p 60 or? Yes, yeah, so, so you get, it's, it handles a 1080p 30 frames per second signal. It can take 4K input, etc. So how is it doing the motion transmission? Yeah, so it's based off of the remote controller right here and it's got this motion sensor in here. It uses accelerometer uh, data in order to tell which direction that it's pointing in, and then it sends, of course, that signal to the gimbal and says, hey, point your, point your camera here, you know? Because the gimbal has a bunch of motors, and it's not just about stabilizing, it's also about moving. It's about controlling, that's absolutely correct. Yeah, so stabilizing is kind of the, that's the beginning, but it's moved beyond that, and it's about control. So the director could be handling this, while the camera operator is holding this? Yes, 100%. Or, you know, even as an independent, you can have this uh, mounted facing out the back of a car or a truck or something like that. And um, while you're sitting as a passenger, you'll be able to view and control all of your footage. And uh, how does it look like the way it's set up? Is this how it's going to be? Yeah, so this combination comes with this mounting bracket for the remote controller and then the um, any monitor that you would like to use. It's got uh, quarter 20 mounting points all on the bottom so you can attach an additional accessories, battery packs, etc. Um, yeah, this is how it would look. But this is a Zeon uh, monitor? Yes, so this is the Zeon branded monitor. It's been on the market already or is new? No, this, one, this one's been on the market for uh, about a year and a half, maybe two years now. So it's a 1080p? Yeah, 1080p monitor, it handles 4K sources. Um, it's got all the advanced features you would expect, like um, false color, focus peaking, etc. Uh, it's got a bunch of controls here, buttons. But uh, you can use any monitor you want, any yes, size. Yes, you can use any monitor that you want. You're not <coughs> locked into just using one. Or... You can use one with HDR support, Yeah, a very absolutely. bright display, even uh, but just stay at 1080. Yes, at 10, 1080 is what you're gonna get as output on your monitor screen. And uh, does that mean there's some kind of USB happening here? Is this remote on market? Yeah, so this is actually, so you're, you're absolutely <coughs> correct. So you can see that the remote is connected to the, um, to the receiver via USB, and that's what's sending all of the data and signals so that way you can start and stop recordings. You can control the direction through motion or through the joystick. You can also adjust uh, your camera settings like aperture, shutter speed, ISO, exposure compensation, all directly on the remote controller itself. And it uses the USB to do it. Um, so you do, uh, <coughs> you do some of the Xeon videos on YouTube, right? Say again? You do some of the Xeon videos. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. How do you say Xeon? I say it Xeon. That's just how I pronounce it. <laughs> uh, so uh, the YouTube videos you do is like helping people set yeah, up? Yeah, so they're, they're meant as tutorial videos. So I like to kind of showcase the products themselves. Um, 
and, and kind of how good the products look and the functionality of the products. And then most importantly, I want to show, you know, everybody out there, how do these things actually work? Because they can be a little bit intimidating and, uh, and, and seemingly complicated. So I try to make those things seem a little bit more simple and give people a kind of a, a working manual. Do you use all these products? Also? Absolutely, yeah, I do. So you're yeah, a filmmaker, my, or what? yeah. So I do use them. Um, I use the Smooth Q2 a lot. I use it as kind of that's the that's this one right here for smartphones. I bring this with me kind of everywhere I go. Great for you know vacations and trips with the family. The holidays it was really handy for. Is that your phone? Yes. So what is this? In that? Yeah. So I'm, I have the iPhone 11 on the back of this, so it holds it's quite a, a good bit. Mix. Yeah. You have to hold it in the right angle to get the best uh, uh, output, right? Or oh, uh, how do you mean? Uh, there's something about. Well, okay. So if you're using on this one, there's. Uh, so I have the wide-angle lens, and you can see that the motor here is in in my shot. But the solution to that is rather simple. So first, let's reset my position. I'll just aim it down just a little bit. So just hold it down, it maintains its position. And now I just continue filming, all the same. Very compact, very light. Yeah, very compact, very light and easy to use. This was crowdfunded, right? Yes, yeah, so uh, on Kickstarter, <coughs> just about 4,000 people raising over half a million dollars. Um, very successful product, people seem to like it. And I, I mean, for good reason. I, I love the thing, it's fantastic. Your YouTube videos are getting lots of views. It probably means there's a lot of people buying this, the Webuild S right now. It's yeah. a success. Yes, I, I think this is a, a fantastic product. It fixes um, a lot of the shortcomings of the Webuild Lab, the generation before it, and it improves upon them in virtually every way. So it can hold more cameras and lens combinations. It's more ergonomic to hold. There's better controls. There's a new image transmission system, so you can use it with, you know, wireless monitoring for your smartphone or any monitor you would like. It really is. They kind of, they kind of knocked it out of the park with the Weibo S, and uh, yeah, I think the the, the price videos, is good. The price, well, and that's that's the big kicker. The price is fantastic. Yeah, because yeah. people were expecting to pay more. P to pay more, they, you you would think it would be about six hundred dollars or something. Given what this is, it's only four hundred and thirty-nine dollars retail. That's astonishing for what it can do. And it's very strong motors. Uh, that's not just good with heavier cameras. It's also good for better, better stability. It's, I mean, it's not an easy feat to actually be able to fit some of these bigger body style cameras on here. Frank here is assembling um, the Panasonic S1 with the 24 to 105 zoom lens. On the and S? Yeah, this, oh. is the, this is the Lumix S1. But is that the Webuild S? Yes, that's the Weeble S. Sorry, yes. And so it's he's a nice have, beefy uh, yeah. uh, full frame yes. camera. Yes, and he's going to have space left over to. So uh, what are you going through right now? Are you uh, balancing, balancing it. Um, so it's just a great mix for full frame, all the mirrorless, and. Uh, there's a lot of other, so CS, this is it busy, Zion. That's right. All right.